How does someone go from being talentless, incompetent, and clueless, to being good at art? Wouldn't you like to know, weather boy? There's a lot to learn, it can be daunting to even start. Many quit because of this and so did I. Not anymore. Now I'm a little motivated. I have some experience with traditional art, but I've never tried digital art before. It can't be that hard. Wrong! I'll be using a Cintiq 12WX. Hey, disconnected! On a pre-2015 Mac. It's not just about the tools. There are people who have created masterpieces with just a mouse or even their thumb. If the art is bad, then it's my fault. <laughs> I'm in danger! What is my rock bottom? <laughs> it appears my bottom is deep. Very deep. It can't get any worse than this. Right? Right? I practiced, so I'm probably not as incompetent now. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing, so I'll be using a reference. Even when you're not a beginner, I still recommend using references. It can help with getting the proportions and the lighting right. I ended up choosing this reference even though I'm terrible with side profiles. Hopefully nothing will go wrong. Squad alive, we are off! I'll be using Krita for my illustration. So far I think it's pretty good. I'm starting with a rough sketch and I'm trying not to worry about making it perfect. <laughs> right now the most important thing is to get the proportions right. I can always clean the sketch up later. As I was saying, don't worry too much about the base sketch. It can always be fixed up later. If you can't tell, I'm drawing Zelda from Tears of the Kingdom. I've been excited about this game for a while and I think she looks cute with short hair. I finished it without much difficulty. Now for the line art. This time I'm prepared for how hard it is. <laughs> I draw straighter lines traditionally than I do digitally. I have the stabilizer on, but I'm not used to it yet. At least I'll try my best. I'm going to try cleaning up the sketch and then doing the final line art over it. I keep trying to measure things out, but I probably should have done that when I first started the drawing. Oh well. I can't go back now. You might be wondering what this is. I made a few cleaned up sketches off screen. It didn't work out so well. My poor brain is working too hard. It might be difficult to realize, but I might have a small problem with drawing eyes. What are you looking at? Especially eyes that don't make Zelda look crazy. I decided that I want to try painting directly over the sketch. <laughs> Please help me. What a great start, this bodes well for the rest of the process. I want to try and do this at my current skill level, so I haven't researched much. I've struggled a lot with choosing the right colors. I've mostly practiced figure drawing. So, when I rarely attempt to color, it looks like a toddler did it. I'll give you a warning. Things are about to get bad. Really bad. Mm. My life has changed forever. I learned about Alpha Lock. It's really saved me so much time and energy. I created a base layer with one color. It can be painted on without going outside the lines. Creating and using groups is incredibly valuable. As well as layer position. If you use these tools, it will save you a lot of time and hassle. Don't be like me and learn about them sooner.
I may be ugly, but I still know a few tricks. I quickly made something to show you what I mean. <laughs> I made a group with the image inside. Whatever is above will be shown on top, this means I don't have to be perfect. I've placed the line art over the color, to ensure it remains visible. On the bottom of the group is the base color. When alpha inheritance is enabled, I'm only able to color on what's below it. And if alpha lock is enabled, I'm only able to color on what's already on that layer. I've never shaded hair before. I'm just trying to do what I feel is right. I'm using my basic knowledge of the planes on the face to paint the tones. Give you me a good old rub 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 rub. <laughs> I don't usually draw clothing, but somehow it's my favorite thing in this illustration. Uh oh. Two hours later. I want to color the line art. I think it looks too harsh with the black lines. And without it, trust me, you don't want to see that. I picked darker colors for the lines. I think it doesn't look too bad. I'm close to being done with Princess Zelda. All I have to do now is clean up any imperfections. She's finished. On to the background. First I'm laying down the basic shapes. I haven't drawn scenery before, but I want to try and paint a landscape. I'm just going to keep it simple with some grassy plains. They're quite pretty in game and it doesn't seem to be too hard. Sure Jan. I'm adding different tones to the grass to make it look nicer. It looks like a toddler did it. I can't wait to bomb. The background is done. I added a tree because it looked a bit bare. How does it look together? It looks a bit. I can't keep it like this. Sorry, Zelda. But you need surgery. ASAP. You'll have to wipe out a few more rubies to get that. Splish! Sing, sing, sing! Sing, 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 sing! I don't know. <laughs> Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Every night, I can feel my leg and my arm, even my fingers. The body I've lost. The comrades I've lost won't stop hurting. It's like they're all still there. You feel it too, don't you? I'm gonna make them give back our past. Sorry, You know what they say, you learn more from failure than success. And I have the failure part nailed down. You killed me! Good! <laughs> <laughs>